Hi, I'm Jeff Benchettler. Today we're going to look at function pointers and member function pointers. In and of itself, not that interesting, but we're going to use it as a jumping off point to get into boost bind and boost function, and from there to start using boost threads. The syntax for member functions and function pointers is a little bit odd. We're going to do our best to make it easier to deal with, but let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start by creating a file scope function integer add x integer y return x plus y. We're making it intentionally simple because we're much more interested in the syntax and the effect than we are in the function at this point. So now let's make a type def. You always don't make a type def when you are dealing with function pointers, otherwise it can drive you quite insane. Uh, and the type def for function pointers really looks like the function itself. So we're just going to return an int and it's going to take as an art, it's going to be uh, here we have a two arg fn pointer a two arg function and it's going to take two ints as an argument now that's an unusual looking type def but we just type def this word to this two arg fn to be something that will match add so here we're going to say to our fn to add point p function equals the address of add. And hey, now let's take some numbers we're going to add. We're going to say integer uh, a equals 7. Integer b equals 9. Integer sum equals, and you call it by dereferencing the function and pass any arguments. Now let's put some output. We'll go ahead and put a using namespace standard up here. So we can, we've already brought in IO stream. So we can say C out. A plus, well, we'll say A equals A, B equals B, A, A plus B equals result uh, sum. Now let's, I got a tip on how to avoid, what I used to do was if defined win32, I'd say char c, c, in, c out, strike any key followed by enter to quit. And then CNC and end if. And that was nice. Not perfect, but nice. But I got a tip from my website. Excuse me. I got a tip on one of my videos that said, don't mess around with this. Just hit Control F5. And you know what? That was a great tip. So if we hit Control F5, yeah, we'd like to build it. It automatically does the pressing key to continue thing. So if A is 7, B is 9, A plus B equals 16. So we added that with the function pointer. 